This is Mexico's premier police force, the National Guard. President Andrés Manuel López Obrador created it in 2019. If it looks militarized, it is. Four out of five of its rank and file are from the army and navy, and it's commanded by a general. But now López Obrador wants to take things a step further, taking overall control of the National Guard and its more than 100,000 members from civilian authorities and placing it under the defense ministry, the army. The only reason for this is to consolidate it and to maintain its discipline and professionalism, and most of all, for it not to get corrupted. The president's proposal has already been passed by the lower chamber of Congress, despite the opposition saying it will lead to more militarization. No. We will not allow a permanent state of siege to be established in this country, as the president of the republic intends. Now it faces the Senate. If it clears that hurdle, it will likely be challenged as unconstitutional. NGOs and civil society are rallying against it. Under President López Obrador, the army's already had a bigger role in civilian affairs than in recent memory, taking over the building of the capital's new airport and a massive tourism railway project in the south, helping to deal with the COVID response too. There's a reason why that scares people. Latin America has a long history of 20th century military dictatorships. In the last 80 years, Mexico's avoided that, learning a lesson after a succession of generals come presidents following its revolution. Things won't change now, says the president. The purpose is not the militarization or to go towards authoritarianism, but to take care, under the vigilance of the defense secretary, the healthy growth of what should be the main public security institution of the country. The other question is, if the measures passed will putting the army in complete control of the National Guard actually reduce Mexico's violence? We can look at what's happened in years past to help answer that. The army itself has been on the streets in Mexico for more than a decade helping the police. And during that time, homicides have gone up rather than down. It's been accused and regularly of human rights abuses and also just lacking the intelligence and investigative policing skills to really tackle crime in this country. Those who fear the army's growing role or its impact on law and order in the country will be watching what happens closely. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.